One of the best things about Path of Exile is how it allows you to build your characters. People put incredible amounts of time and care into theorycrafting interesting and unique Blade Vortex builds. After all, if you don't spend more time in Path of Building than you do in-game, you aren't doing it right. My methodology, however, is a little bit different, and can be more accurately compared to playing Russian Roulette with game mechanics. I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> this particular build, well, it throws three of my favorite things together in a semi-competent attempt to make a build that actually functions. What are they? Well, fanaticism, fulcrum, and fire. More specifically, purifying flame. Now, let's focus on the fulcrum for a minute. Back in Heist, I made a build basically as soon as I could get my hands on this thing. Its specific mechanical focus on ailment reflection fascinates me. Admittedly, my first attempt at a build with this was flawed. But for the second time around, I was able to correct the main weakness that this staff has. It's over-reliance on unique items. You see, ailment reflection really is a niche way of building a character. It requires quite a few things to really make it worth it. Pre-313, there really wasn't anything in the way of mods in the rare item pool that were enabling to the build. Thus, we were forced into things like giving up rare slots to equip impulses and Storm's Gift. This allowed us to mitigate the shock that the item applied and to actually clear maps with the explode. And we were also forced into playing Chieftain to prevent death. But in 3.13, none of those are problems anymore. You see, with the introduction of elevated mods, our boot slot becomes almost the sole pillar on which the build stands. It takes care of two of the three ailments we need to mitigate. At a price, however, since cannot be frozen and unaffected by ignite are both prefixes, we're forced to choose between either move speed and life. I opted for life, I figured I could always craft another pair of boots. The existence of these boots is what makes this build possible as anything other than Chieftain. It means that any build with this pair can effectively just pick up a fulcrum and start setting themselves on fire, and they'll be fine, for the most part. The other thing that 313 brought with it was the return of Harvest, which admittedly upped the power of the build substantially, but not for obvious reasons. You see, when they brought back Harvest, they brought back almost all of its original crafts, including one that could add implicits to jewels. This craft draws from a unique pool of 26 equally weighted modifiers that grant a variety of marginally useful effects. Anyone with eyes can note that I have taken the time to roll reduced effective shock on every single jewel possible even going so far as to taking slightly so less efficient clusters so I can get as close to 100% reduced effective shock as possible. The result of this? Impulses and Storm's Gift are but a distant memory to this build, instead being replaced by some absurd elevated rare gear that completely eclipses the power level of the uniques that we were forced to use before. And it's not just for single target, either. Clear also goes through the roof since the synergy between Fulcrum and Explode Chest is next level, letting us fully convert and scale the Fizz damage to the point of anything that we touch dies, even though our Blade Vortex does very little damage. So that sorts Fulcrum. The only thing to figure out is, like, where Inquisitor and Purifying Flame fit into all of this. So, Ailment Reflection is the type of build where you get a lot of action speed and cast speed, and... I figured Fanaticism also has a cast speed multiplier on it, why not just throw them all together and just stack Purifying Flame cast speed for the hell of it, and uh, the result is just absurd. Yeah, I gotta admit, watching everything melt as the cast just pour out of me is probably one of the most satisfying things I've ever witnessed in this game. Now with any high cast speed build, mana cost can get out of control pretty quickly, but we can sustain it by stacking a little bit of percent mana cost reduction from Fanaticism, a little on the tree, and through Inspiration, the three of these things together with the additive properties of percent mana cost reduction means that our Purifying Flame costs zero mana, which means as long as Fanaticism is up, it's just, you know, open season on anything in front of us. Now to make sure we actually do damage, our Purifying Flame is linked up into like a typical run-of-the-mill mirror tier, quotation marks, Blizzard Helm, or Blizzard Hat, that I self-crafted along with a couple of my friends over the course of the league. Um, I miss many Maven Orbs on this thing. I miss so many Maven Orbs. Uh, and due to how unlucky it was, it took the three of us spamming every single suffix reforge we could possibly find for like a month to finally elevate the conch effect. And yeah, we probably could have traded for it, but I was stubborn. I self-crafted all the other gear up until this point, and I wasn't about to bail in the last piece. Yeah, I'm really happy with the result. I, I didn't really set out to make a build that could boss. I have the Battle Blaster for that. That's like my bossing character. This is supposed to be a mapping character, but uh, with this helm, replacing like my poorly crafted Pepega one, we ended up with like a decent amount of damage. I'm extremely pleased with this pass at the Fulcrum build. It's still a little bit squishy, 
I think the next time I make a, a fulcrum build, I'm going to try and beef up the defenses a little bit with maybe like some kind of interesting defensive mechanics. I don't know. Maybe I could go like semi low life with mm, petrified flesh, whatever it's called. I don't know. If I do it a third time, it's going to be tanky. And it's probably going to be in standard since the boots are going to be pretty difficult to craft without harvest going into the future. That being said, I really, really want to get like an enchanted physical effect double corrupted fulcrum that just like squeezes the maximum possible damage out of it that, could, that you could potentially get. Because I, I love this weapon. I love this weapon so much. It's so cool. And, and uh, I'm probably going to keep making builds with it. Just as every time I get the chance, just here's a fulcrum build. Why not? Um, but yeah, until that happens, I'm, I'm just really happy to end the League on a character that's a love letter to all of my previous work, to like the strength of Harvest, to like my penchant for oddly viable hipster builds. The, the stars aligned for this one. They really did. And uh, I can't wait to see what's next.